So today we are going to discuss one of the features related to the 8.5.1 version of the Pega platform. So Pega has evolved with different versions. When, where I can say the research frequency of Pega is quite high when compared with the other BPM tools. So they come up with new features each time so that the users also have to be updated or they have to you know, upgrade themselves on how to use this particular platform. Okay. So the evolution it has started off uh, with like five version, then we have got 5.1, 5.26, 6.1, 2.3, and 7, 7.1. 7.2.1, 2.2, 7.3.4. And starting from Pega 8, we call it the Pega Infinity version, where we have 8.1, 8.2, 8.3.4. The current version is 8.5.1. So let us discuss one new feature that Pega has brought us on the 8.5.1 version. Okay. And if you're already aware of the Pega platform, you might have a little idea of the draft on and off modes. Okay, So this is a feature corresponding to this draft on and off modes. Okay? If you are new to Pega, no issues. So we are going to look at what this draft on and off is all about. Okay? So typically when you work with any Pega application, okay? so we, we divide the business transactions and as you know pega is basically a business process management tool okay so which means you will be able to effectively manage your business transactions on a pega application okay and when i have multiple business transactions okay so we we call them as case types in the pega terminology the case types are nothing but a representation of my business transaction and each case type is divided into different stages. Like for example, if I have a transaction which deals with an online transaction, okay, I'm, I'm making a purchase online. So I would divide the transaction into different stages. So probably the first stage could be placing the order. The second stage could be packaging. The third stage could be shipping. And the final stage could be delivery. So each stage again is further divided into processes because placing an order as a stage, it is not a single action. It involves multiple things there, right? I, I need to uh, look at the products. I would obviously look at the reviews, ratings, feedbacks, okay, or discounts, right? And then I would look after uh, the payment modes. So which kind of or which mode of payment is most suitable. So I would check on that. I would make the payment. That is when I place the order, right? So it's not like the stage is a single activity that happens. No, the stage internally consists of a lot of things and all of this put together, I call it a process, okay? So which means that the next sub level of your st stage could be a process. And when I work on these processes, they are nothing but they look like a flow chart of what happens in that particular process. And in order to work on this particular process, so each time I need to on and off my draft modes. Okay. So by default, your, your draft mode off would be available. I mean, draft mode on would be available on the Dev Studio. So it, it is like whenever I, I try to move my application to the higher environments, because obviously when, when I'm developing something, I cannot expect a single environment to handle all of the things, right? I need to move my application to different environments. Probably initially it would start off with dev, then it might be QA, staging, pre-prod and prod. And in, in order to you know uh, look after this, uh, draft mode on and off on a particular process. So earlier, it, it has to be a manual process. Okay. Earlier, it was like I had to manually turn off the draft mode on the Dev Studio. So which, which ensures, uh, you know, a safe deployment of the application into a production environment. Okay, it is always mandatory that you need to have a check on the 
draft mode of your properties okay before moving on to the production environment but with 8.5.1 i do not need to worry about this manual process okay the system now automatically turns off the draft mode for any processes okay until unless if they consists of any issues or you know a sort of warnings yes that that would still be addressed but i will be able to you know um, i'll be able to make sure that the system takes care of turning off this draft mode for me okay so this is how the draft mode off would look like where i can see if there are any warnings yes i can see that okay there's an issue with the connector on this particular create details process okay and these issues or warnings need to be addressed okay before uh, it is out of your draft mode and it, it is before and probably before it is moved on to the production okay so this is basically to reduce your development time and effort because each time i do not have to look after whether my a uh, draft mode is off or on i do not need to worry about it okay so when i save a case type the system now automatically turns off the draft mode for any processes that contain or this that does not contain any issues okay instead of having uh, to manually turn off the draft mode in dev studio now the system does it for me okay? and so i think we we have spoken enough about the feature but but what does this draft mode mean okay so when a process is in the draft mode you can check its run time behavior okay by running the process or just by probably previewing it in a user portal even if the process contains any errors i can still be able to run it or i'll be able to check it okay so now with these errors if i do not you know turn off the draft mode i can just move this directly to the higher environments which is which is not acceptable right because as this is a manual process and obviously humans or developers are prone to error sometimes so probably by mistake if i try to move a particular uh, process to the higher environment with issues or with warnings that obviously affects the system's performance or probably it just reduces my guardrail score right so wh whatever could be your post issues at this time with this draft mode of a feature i do not need to worry about this the system would take care of automatically turning off the draft mode okay and this is most suitable or most useful in scenarios where an application that consists of multiple case types with multiple processes so this activity of you know turning off the draft mode on and off manually is a tedious and time consuming process right and additionally we should always switch to the dev studio manually to turn off the draft mode okay if there are people working on uh, uh, admin studio or on the app studio they have to come back to the dev studio to turn on and off or toggle on and off the draft modes and one more important aspect that that comes with uh, the draft mode on and off is that okay probably a, a convenience aspect i could say a, con a convenience advantage here is that saving a case type in your app studio or the dev studio now automatically switches off the draft mode for all the processes that do not contain any configuration issues until unless there is an issue you do not need to bother about how or you know when to toggle your draft mode on or off it doesn't you know require much attention now so that we can seamlessly deploy the applications on a production environment okay and now you you could ask me like what if i have configuration issues how will i look after those processes so the system will ensure that uh, the processes are correct so the case designer 
now it is going to display a message that lists all the errors in your case type. Okay, you can quickly have a look at the issues and you'll be able to locate the processes if at all they need to be fixed. Okay, right. So this gives the developers, I mean, this is most suitable or most useful when you're working for huge enterprise applications because it involves multiple case types and a lot of processes coming up. Each time going back to the Dev Studio or you know uh, switching to the Dev Studio to check whether the draft mode is on or off is a tedious process. Okay. And once you ad address the issues, probably you you see that. And once you see that the issues of of a particular process are you know addressed. So after you address these issues, you can save your case type engine and can just proceed on with deploying the application without having manually to turn off the draft mode. Okay. So this is all about the feature that is related to deploying your applications in a quick way or in a, you know, in a time consuming way, sorry, without the time consuming using your automatic draft off more in the processes. So if you have any questions, we can discuss. Thank you.